Hey guys, welcome to another video. All right, so, um, wow, this video is about us installing the um, leather wrapping on the TRD Pro steering wheel. Um, the TRD Pro did not come with leather wrapping on the steering wheel, it came with a uh, Oh, I don't know. It's a plastic looking, plastic looking uh, tractor resembling type steering wheel. Um, it feels just like uh, cheap plastic. Um, so we decided to uh, to buy a kit. Got it online. Got it from um, uh, Amazon. It's forty five bucks. Um, and when I the package came, I opened it up. It was. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh man, what did I get myself into? Um, it was very intimidating at first. But uh, anyway, so we went and forged ahead and, and did it. It took us about uh, three and a half, four hours. Um, and looking back on it, um, the hardest part was just sitting there going like, what do I do next? Um, so, uh, you know, once you cut that out, if I were to do it again, yeah, about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, I removed the steering wheel. Um, removing the steering wheel um, was uh, a lot better than working um, working on the um, um, in the truck in the garage, which you know it's kind of cold outside, 28 degrees or so, and uh, dark in the garage, and then trying to work at angles, you know, trying to spin the steering wheel around and all that. I just opted to remove it. Um, so my son ended up removing it. Uh, to remove the steering wheel is really easy. All you do is uh, uh, take the side bolts out uh, that hold the airbag in place. Um, once the airbag comes out, uh, you have about eight bolts. Um, and you remove that, then you end up removing all of the uh, controls for um, the menus, the menus, and uh, stuff like that. You know, telephone, all that. So that comes out. Um, 19 millimeter bolt to remove the center. Um, the center nut ended up having to put a mark on it uh, to make sure that you know you realign it back. Um, that came out. Um, you need a steering wheel puller. I ended up buying one for like 10 bucks off Amazon. You can probably, I know for a fact that you can uh, um, rent them for free from like AutoZone, Pep Boys, most of those um, auto part type stores here in the US um, just for a mere deposit and then um, Otherwise, you can keep it, I guess, and just they keep your deposit. But anyways, um, so popping the steering wheel out. <sighs> you know, once you pop the kit out, um, the... Um, wow, you know, once you put the leather on the steering wheel, you have to make sure it's centered. I started at the bottom. At the very bottom first and because you got to pick a spot and the easiest spot for me was the um, the, the very bottom um, and I lined that up and then I worked my way around started sewing uh, oh before that um, you got to put I just follow the directions you know there's not much online for help um, I guess maybe there is I don't I didn't watch that many videos I know there's a lot of videos out there that um, that show you how to do it, but none of them are for the tundra. So um, I guess the Tacoma is probably the same too. I should have looked for Tacoma, but I didn't do that. But anyways, so I followed the, the directions that came with the um, with uh, with the kit. Uh, they were pretty simple, actually. Um, ended up putting uh, double-sided stickers all the way around. The only spots that you don't want to put uh, stickers are um, on the, um, you'll see when you get the kit, there's a little un uncolored, so you, 
it's designed to be tucked in. So in the tucked in areas, they don't want you putting a sticker. I think that's what the instructions were. So I pretty much follow them to the T. Um, stuck it on and as I was going around, I was just removing the, uh, so removing the one-sided um, um, sticker and then placing it in place and going around this and sewing. And then when I got further along, I'd remove more tape and go further along and remove more tape. Um, when I got to the top, um, not to the top, but so when I started stitching, um, I just went from across to across and then every other one. Um, I don't know if I were to do it again, I think I would add, I would go through each individual loop. Uh, it gives it more red and I think it's a little bit, I guess it's all personal preference, but um, I liked, I think I would have liked it better if it was um, more red. In other words, going through each individual um, loop. But I went every other one, uh, kind of gave it the zigzag pattern. Uh, when I got around to the, um, I don't know if I can show you, spin this thing around here. Uh, when I got to the areas like, oh, let's see here. Um, in here. Uh, all this in here is when I got to about, you know, the the 90 degree in the crook and probably 30 degrees out, I ended up going to every single one. So every single, um, every single, when you go through the corners, I kept every single one. Um, I went through each individual loop because if you don't do that, what happens is it becomes a lot harder, significantly harder to keep it um, tucked in and stuff like that. So you have to go through each individual, um, oh, I don't know how to say it, each individual loop on the, on the, uh, on the thread um, of, the, of the wrap itself. Um, So basically that, um, if I were to do it again, I think I would go through each individual one. I think it would look better, maybe. I don't know. It seems like most of the people out there that did it, did it through um, every other one. So it's all prep, personal prep. It worked out real well. Um, the The only thing that I would after you finish it, after you finish sewing it all up, before you put it back in or put it back together again, in the co on the edges, the parts that get tucked in, I would recommend, if I were to do it again, just now looking back on it, maybe I should have done it. Um, yeah, I didn't think about it until I put it back together, I had the steering wheel back in the car, but when you finish it all up, the edges that get tucked in, I recommend getting some kind of a contact cement and just putting a little bit so that when you tuck it in, it looks a lot crisper. Mine look like they're tucked in. Uh, typically when, when, when car manufacturers um, wrap steering wheels, they are all, um, they are all uh, glued as well as sewed. So gluing it down is going to uh, give it a little bit of a crisper and cleaner and more contouring to the um, original plastic steering wheel although this looks I mean if you didn't if I didn't tell you I don't think you'd be able to I mean you know you can look at it and see my flaws I don't have that I don't consider I have that many flaws but um, if I were to do it again it'd be a lot more perfect, better, gooder. Um, I did have, oh, also, when you center your steering wheel uh, and the leather, um, 
you know, I sewed and I had to take it back apart. Um, when the leather, okay, so there's a, a thin line that goes on the inside of the steering wheel and I use that as the middle where both sides of, so in other words, where the seam was, I try to place that right in the middle and use that. It's very faint and you, if, it, if you sit in the garage doing it with on the car, you might not see it unless you use bright lights, but uh, yeah, it, um, I use that as my centering when I went around. Um, so that was my little guide to do that. But um, so as you sew it, going back to this, I had to take it apart. Um, when the seams come together, you can stretch it a little bit, but you can't stretch it a lot. So you cannot have, when the seams come together, they have to come together. In other words, you can't leave, because if you leave a gap, um, you know, eighth of an inch, two, three millimeters, it doesn't matter. You cannot have a gap, because that gap is going to translate as to more material somewhere else. Um, but like I said, I had to take it back apart. <laughs> And so it cut the string and redo it again. That was, you know, 30 minutes worth of wasted effort. Um, and nobody really talked about that, that, all the videos that I saw. Most of the videos that you see online, they're just, I don't know, it, it doesn't pertain to the, uh, to the tundra mainly. Okay, let's finish it up now. All right, guys. Well, that was it. Um, I think you should do it. I really do. Uh, it is easy. It is, think about this. To buy a leather steering wheel for this car to go online, it's like 500 bucks. How much, how much, I don't even know. I mean, I should, maybe I should have Googled it to see how much it costs, but I have no idea how much it costs, but it's gotta be five, 600 bucks for a brand new leather wrapped steering wheel. This is $45. And um, it's really nice feeling too. It's real leather and everything. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, like, subscribe. We'll see you around.